Well, for me, I always need something to relax in the evening, to like yoga for the mind, if you will. And I've always been a doodler. I uh, even have some of my high school books that I doodled on. And so for me, this relaxes me, slows my mind down, and gives me peace and comfort. So I do these every day. The, the paper that I'm using is called Upo paper, and it's a plastic paper made from recycled bottles, which I love that idea. Um, uh, it's used in the food industry a lot as menus, placemats, that sort of thing, but they found a niche for it in the art field with the watercolorists. Well, if you've ever tried to put water on plastic, you know, it just pools up. The, the alcohol inks that I use don't behave like that. They spread out and move around a little bit with the course of air and, and drying time. So, um, and then I use inks. I use the India base ink, an alcohol based ink, and an acrylic based ink. Uh, the three work together in the process. The first process is, is I get color on the paper. So I get color down, I move it around with the alcohol, and I just use basic 91% um, rubbing alcohol. And I start moving it around and then I set it aside. I do another one, thinking of colors and what I want to use, sometimes, set it aside. And I'll get four or five of them and then I start manipulating the colors a little more. And then they sit and they ferment for a while. And they talk to me, you know, and they start telling me this and this. And then I start putting the India ink on. And I work, like I said, I'll work four or five at a time. And I go back and forth. And then they just start growing from there. And I can't, I can't explain to anybody how it works for my mind because it's so intuitive for me. I could never teach it because um, people have different things in their mind. Horrible. It was a, it was a, it's a, it's been a rough year. Um, not being able to be with family and to fly to see my daughter and my grandkids and you know just everything. Thank thank the Lord we've all been well and not sick and uh, we've you know we have a home so we can stay busy but it, it's been rough on not just me but a lot of people. Creatively it has is really about killed me but I kept on it and I did a lot of these so. Um, not specifically right now. I will have a piece in Morro Bay hanging in their uh, uh, flower power show coming up in February. Um, hopefully Cambria will be open and I will be showing some work in Cambria. But you can always catch me online at DeborahPeppin.com. But i am always got my website up and going, so that'd be the best place to find my work and current work as well. Just that I am so blessed to be able to show my work in this beautiful gallery that is open for people to physically enjoy art instead of online because it's a whole different experience being able to see it in person. So thank you, Madeira. <laughs> well, my name is Deborah Pepin and I'm from Sanger, California. I've lived here all my life, so familiar with all the areas.